Hey guys, I have a projectile motion problem. The problem statement for this problem is a shell is fired from the ground with an initial speed of 1.5 times 10 to the third meters per second and an initial angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal. We need to neglect our resistance and find the horizontal range. So first step is to write out our given. So we have the initial velocity is 1.5 times 10 to the third meters per second, whereas the initial angle is 45 degrees. Now, what do we need to find? We need to find the horizontal range. I just denoted noted that as D. Now, over here, I drew a picture, a, a picture for this projectile motion. The projectile at the center of our coordinate system with Y positive upwards and X positive to the right. We have the projectile going in this par parabolic motion and its speed is V naught and the angle is theta. And we have G is our gravity which is always pointing downwards. Now with these types of problems, three very important equations are these three that I have written right here. So this first equation, x equals x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared, that gives us a distance either in the x direction or the y direction. Now, we can use this first equation to help us find the horizontal range of this problem. So let's go ahead and do that. So x, this is our final distance, the distance that we want to find. So x is just going to be the d, the horizontal range. Now, x naught, x naught is at the start of our coordinate system which is right here, and that is equal to zero. And the velocity, v naught, t, v naught is the velocity in the x direction. So what is the velocity in the x direction? Now, we have to break this velocity vector into its components, and we use do that by using trig. So the velocity this projectile in the x direction is just v naught cosine theta. And we need to multiply that by time t. Now this isn't our solution just yet because we do not know time. So how do we find how long it takes to get to that point. So let's use this second equation. So we have V equals V naught plus AT. So this tells us the velocity at any point along the projectile's motion. Now, if we use this equation in the X direction, it won't tell us anything. The final velocity is always equal to the initial velocity because there is no acceleration in the x direction. The only acceleration we have is in the y direction, and that's g. So let's go ahead and use this equation to find out. So vy is equal to v naught y, which is the velocity component in the y direction, which is v naught sine theta plus at. Well, a is our acceleration, and our acceleration is pointing downwards. So that is a negative g, gravity, times t, our time. Now, we could take this equation and go from points 1 all the way to this point here. I'm going to call 3. But I find it easier to go ahead and choose the second point here, this equation working from the first point to the second point. Now, the initial velocity we have, it's right here. But what's the final velocity at the this point, the top of the parabola? 
in the y direction. The velocity in the y direction here is zero. So we can solve this equation. by plugging in zero. And solving for t. So we get v naught sine theta over g. But this is the time it takes to get from point one to point two. So let's write that there, point one to point two. But what about the time it takes from point one to point three? So the time it takes to get from point one to point three, since this motion is symmetrical, it is just twice the time it takes to get from one to two. So the time it takes to get from one to three it's just simply two times this time. So two times V naught sine theta divided by G. So if we plug in this time into this equation and plug in our numbers that we have here, that'll give us the solution to this problem. 